What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We have created applications, specifically JavaScript applications or applications based on JavaScript frameworks or libraries. And for that, we have installed some node modules using npm install. But have you ever wondered how you can create one and make it live so that the whole world can use the npm module that you have created? So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own npm module and make it live so that the people around the world can use it there are some prerequisites that you need to do. First of all, you need to have Node.js installed in your computer based on your operating system. You can download it from nodejs.org, the official website, and you need to have an account created in npmjs.com. So you, when you come to this website, you can go for a sign up and then sign up here. Or if you already have your account, you can go to login. As I already have my account, so I'm going straight into the video. So before we start, I'm requesting you, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell icon and also like this video so that a lot of potential viewers like you can see my videos. So I'm going to show you everything from scratch. So let's get started. So as you can see, I'm in an empty directory. And at first, I'm going to create a Node.js project where I'm going to create the NPM module. So at first, I'm going to create an most importantly, you need to have this named in such a way that this is unique and it, it's not used by somebody else. So I'm going to name it in that way. So at first, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it something like... So basically, you know, if um, I want to create something like if you want to find out the area of a rectangle, I'm just going to make it very simple. You are going to make a package which will be creating or which will be finding out the area of a rectangle by using two inputs. So for that, let's make it like rectangle area by hold with sure. I'm using my channel's name and apparently I hope that this is unique and nobody else has a project with this name. So I'm going to create this folder and get inside and open Visual Studio Code. So, okay, so we have VS Code open. So the first thing that we are going to do is we will open up a terminal and we will do npm init and let's just keep it as it is very simple. So minus y. So that will be okay for all. And as you can see that if I open the package.json, this is the name of the package that will we will publish. And for my, this is something I do is like, I, I, I use import instead of require. So for that in the package.json, what I'm going to do is I will write type and say module then save it. All right. Now, as you can see that the main file indicates here is index.js. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you to see. Okay. So you can see that index.js is the main file or the root file for this project. So what I'm going to do is going to create an index.js file. Okay. So as I'm inside, I'm going to close it for now. All right. So now let's just create the NPM module or the node module that we want. That is the area of a rectangle. So for that, let's write const rectangle area. And we will be passing two values. That is one is length and the other one is break. Okay, and let's make it an arrow function. Inside that, we're going to return the length into the breadth. Okay, that's basically it. And the last thing, we're going to export this module, that is export default rectangle area, and let's save it. Okay, so this is the thing. Basically, this is what this is the package that we wanted to create. So let's just open up the terminal again and use the previous one. And clear it first. Okay. So now the first thing that we are going to do is we need to log into the npm JS with our npm JS login uh, credentials uh, from the command line. So I'm going to write npm login. And if you can see, it asks for my username. So I'm going to put my username and the, my password. And it also asks for my email address, so I'm going to keep it. Okay. Okay, it, it says that I have logged in. Okay, so now what I can do is I can write npm 
publish. Okay. If you can see that this is being published and it says now you can see rectangular area, area by code with a shrug. So I think I made a spelling mistake, but that's all right. As this is just for an educational purpose, I'll just keep it like this. So I think I made the spelling of rectangle as a react angle. So let's just keep it that way. So now, as you can see that we have published this. So this is the name of the package uh, as rectangle area by code with a shrug. So I'm just going to minimize this and I will just go back one directory. I will be creating another folder, which is for the test purpose. So uh, as a new folder, I'll just name it rectangle area test. Okay. Now, if I go inside this, I'm going to open this NVS code as well. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a terminal and like previously, I'm going to create a node project. So npm init minus y. Let's, let's keep it that way. And again, we have our package.json and I'm going to write imports instead of requires. So I will be writing type is module. This is just what I'm doing. It's not necessary for you to do, but I like doing it this way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file called index.js and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to at first import the module. So for that I need to npm install. So let's do let's go back to the previous previous code. So here I'm going to copy this. And I I hope this is copied. Come back here and write npm i and the name of this package. So as you can see that this is being installed. All right, so we have this installed. So if I go to the package.json, you can see that the dependencies contains this rectangle area by code with a shark. So we have this here. What I'm going to do is now at first, I'm going to import rectangle. I'm still making the same mistake. Rectangle area from there and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to like console log so that you can just see it in the terminal rectangular area and i'm going to pass two parameters as you have seen that we have to pass length and breadth so for that let's just go with five and four so as you know the area of the rectangle that is just length its breadth so for that if i just save this and I'm going to clear the terminal first and then I'm going to run node index.js. You can see that the rectangle area it has been calculated and the area is 20. So if I change the values to like 6 and 7 and save it, you might be seeing 42. There you go, you can see 42. So basically that's it for the video. So what we did today is we have created a node module for ourselves and we have published it, made it live so that other people in the world can use it in their JavaScript projects. That's how you can do. This is just a simple tutorial that I've shown. You can do it with some other things like you, you might have some great ideas or you might have something unique that has not been published as a node module yet. So maybe do something like that and publish it in this way so that other people in the world can use it. So if you found this video interesting, I'm requesting you to like this video, comment what you thought, share it with your community, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. So I'm going to leave now and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.